there's no budget predictability whatsoever. Total Medicaid spending uh, in North Carolina has gone up by about 90% just in the last 10 years. Um, it's growing even twice as fast as revenue, so obviously you can't really uh, count on revenue to make up the, the backfill. And it's grown for every single category that there is uh, in Medicaid. So it's not just the elderly that's costing more, it's not just the disabled, not just children, it's every single category. And uh, just over the last four years, uh, the Medicaid program has run over budget by an average of about 11%. So that's $5.4 billion uh, that has been spent that wasn't appropriated. And so uh, there is a better way forward. Uh, in April, the governor proposed the partnership for North Health Carolina. Um, and it's a, it's a sort of a patient-centered approach that really puts choice competition and accountability into Medicaid, um, which we simply don't have right now. Uh, I often refer to it as pro-patient, pro-taxpayers, um, and it, it, has, it has proven in other states to uh, increase access, improve health outcomes, lower costs, and make Medicaid uh, budgeting much more predictable. Um, I call it pro-patient because you're really giving patients a choice. Rather than putting them in sort of this one-size-fits-none uh, plan, you're giving them the opportunity to go and pick the plan that works best for them. Uh, you're also uh, creating plan accountability. Plans are accountable to the state for improving health, um, increasing satisfaction, meeting certain benchmarks. If they're not, they don't receive all their money. And so obviously you want to uh, increase accountability through those kinds of incentives. And it's really a holistic approach. Uh, right now, North Carolina is uh, what's called fee-for-service. That means every single service that uh, is encountered is paid uh, for that service. So there's not a lot of coordination between mental health and behavioral health and physical health. Uh, even though, you know, for the patient, they might not know, you know, well, this is mental health, I need to go see this doctor. Or, oh, well, this is behavioral, so I need to go see this doctor. And so this really brings down the barriers and creates a more holistic approach to Medicaid.